do you want to disable Windows Defender in Windows 11? In this video, you will know how to disable Windows Defender in Windows 11. Why do you need to disable Windows Defender? There could be several reasons that you would want to disable the Windows Defender. The most common one is you have installed another security program and you don't want the Defender to run in the background and consume resources. Another reason to disable Windows Defender is that it is conflicting with certain programs or services. Sometimes the Windows Defender doesn't allow running genuine applications because it thinks the program is a virus in such cases, you would want to disable it. How to temporarily disable Windows Defender If you want to temporarily disable Windows Defender, open Settings. Then click on Privacy and Security. Here click on Windows Security. Then click on Virus and Threat Protection. Here under Virus and Threat Protection Settings, click on Manage Settings. Then here Disable Real-Time Protection, you will see the UAC prompt, click Yes. Then Disable Cloud Delivered Protection, Automation Sample Submission, and Tamper Protection. Now the Windows Defender is temporarily disabled. If you want to re-enable it, just enable all these four options or restart your PC. Disable Defender in Windows 11 through Group Policy Editor. You can use the Group Policy Editor to disable Windows Defender permanently. If you are on Windows 11 Home Edition, this won't work for you, as Windows 11 Home doesn't have a Group Policy Editor. It works on Windows 11 Pro and Enterprise Edition. So press Windows plus R button and type gpedit.msc and hit Enter. Now expand Computer Configuration, then expand Administrative Templates, then Windows Components, then select Microsoft Defender Antivirus. Now here on the right side, you will see Turn off Microsoft Defender Antivirus. Double-click to open it. Then select Enabled, click on Apply, and OK. Now the Windows Defender is disabled on your PC permanently. Later on, when you need it, you can open the Group Policy Editor, navigate here, and then open this entry here. Then select Disabled or Not Configured. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.